In today's video, I explain how to lose that annoying chest fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Bello from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're gonna break down how to get rid of the stubborn fat that resides in the pectorals. And I'll show you some video here of myself having dieted down and getting rid of, gotten rid of some of that fat. And today's question comes from right here on the Instagram direct message. So thank you guys for continuing to send great questions and those that I don't answer in a direct message, well, I try to answer here if I feel they're gonna reach a lot of people. And if you like this type of information from a coach with more than a decade's worth of experience, knowledge, education, and someone that just really wants to help you, hit subscribe, it's what I love to do here. Now the question goes something like this. I'm 5'11", 180 pounds. I have a good amount of muscle and would estimate my body fat to be 15 to 17%. I'm lean everywhere except for my chest. This is my strongest body part but it also looks the most sloppy. Is there a way to lean out your chest? I'm looking to lose 10 pounds, but I'm worried I'm overtraining my chest. Thanks for all you do, man. So, got a couple things I want to address with you here. First and foremost is how body fat is stored and how body fat is lost. Then we're gonna talk about exactly what you can do to make sure that you're losing that chest fat, how to train it, how to eat for that approach. So, I drew this guy right here to kind of show you where we're looking at. We're looking at the chest. And I want you to understand that this human body here is covered with body fat, right? From head to toe, from the top of our skull to the bottom of our feet, there are pockets of body fat stored everywhere. And the research is pretty clear. How body fat is stored on our body for a healthy person is genetically predetermined, okay? Our genetic code says where body fat is gonna go. Meaning that two people that have the same amount of body fat can have different distributions, okay? Some people can store more in their core, more in their lower body, more in their upper body. I've even seen some people that store a lot of face fat. Even when they're lean, their faces are still chunky. But how do you get rid of that body fat? And part of the reason that I think you're obsessed with the chest is because like you said, it's a, it's a good body part for you. You probably got a lot of muscle there. And you don't have a lot of body fat, body fat in other parts of your body. And this is why we tend to focus on the one problem area. We don't look at the big picture. Look how good you look head to toe. Now you said something that I'm gonna call you out on here. You said you're lean everywhere else, which I think is probably pretty false because based on my experience as a coach, I know that the chest fat tends to lean out for those that store a lot of it after the lower body gets a little bit leaner, okay? So what do I mean by that? I mean the lower back, the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, those body parts typically will start to lean out a little bit and if you're still holding some body fat in the chest, you might have to go through those body parts first, even lower back and abs. The pattern, like I said, it's predetermined. Now, you can change the way that that chest fat is gonna look by how much muscle you have, but if you have some annoying chest fat in there, I know what you mean. Now, I walk around typically pretty lean, okay? This is me at about 215 pounds, I'm six foot three, and I always felt that my chest was pretty lean until I got shredded. And then I realized there's actually quite a bit of body fat here. Now there's a, there's a certain amount of body fat that looks nice on the chest, right? It gives it more volume. At a certain point, when we get shredded, and I probably have some pictures here, when all the body fat is gone from this area, and you can see the striations all the time, you lose a lot of that fullness and density. So it might be best for when you're dieting down to find out what that place is, where you're comfortable with, right? What body fat level. If you're at 15 to 17% body fat, I find that you can probably get to 12% without too much struggle. Meaning, you're not gonna have to eat ultra low calories, you're not gonna have to do lots of cardio. You can lose a little bit of body fat just by focusing on tightening up the diet, your overall approach, and you can maintain that. Now, it might take a few weeks, it might even take a few months, but by losing that body fat, and what you probably need to do is take pictures of your body front and back, because what a lot of us don't realize when we're losing body fat is that we can't see it, okay? You can't see your back unless you take pictures or videos, and what I like to do is I take a video and then I'll do screenshots, then you can see the fat coming off and that will actually get you excited. If you lose five pounds and you look down and you see no difference, that can be a little bit difficult to deal with. You think, man, I've lost five pounds, but where is it coming from? Some people even say, I know I'm losing muscle because I'm not losing fat, but you're not looking at the whole picture. So take a look at your body from top to bottom. Now understanding how we get body fat off the body and how it's predetermined, I'm gonna use a little visual aid. Here you go, guys. I want you to think of your chest fat as a sheet of toilet paper somewhere in the middle of this roll, right? It's somewhere in here. We don't know where it is. You've never been that lean before. And something I noticed with myself and my competitors, once you diet down, 
you can actually predict, okay, the next body fat that's gonna come off me historically comes from my chest. I know that when I start to see certain details in my physique, the chest is about to start getting leaner, right? So what do you have to do? You have to diet this body fat off, right? You cannot get to this body fat in here without taking this off. The lower back, the thighs, the legs, right? Maybe even the face, maybe even the shoulders and arms. Depending on how late in the process that body fat is gonna come off, you will lose it at the end, okay? But I promise you it will come off. Stored body fat is just energy that has not been used, it has not been tapped into. When does your body tap into it? It's genetically predetermined, okay guys? Now, you mentioned something here about overtraining the chest. Muscle, while it will increase the volume and size of your pectoral muscles, is not going to reduce the amount of body fat you have there, okay? I like to think of it this way. You go in the gym to lift weights to build muscle. Putting on muscle is one process. Losing body fat is done through creating a caloric deficit, through diet, through energy expenditure, such as exercise, cardio, whatever it is that you do on a daily basis, you need to create that energy deficit so that you are losing body fat through that process, over time, your body is going to break down body fat stores, use them as fuel, and they will no longer be available, so it will move on to the next area. I promise you eventually, you'll get shredded like me on the screen here, where I had no chest fat. Alright guys, I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.